Hello, motherfuckers. Yeah, so I had COVID when this released. So I couldn't do a proper fucking voiced video. Which is why I'm doing one now, obviously. Out away, my beloved. <laughs> I do have stuff on low spec mode because this game tends to lag out and crash once you get to high mortality levels. Stepford Spaghetti Code strikes again. <coughs> yeah, so COVID left me with a fucking cough. I'm not sure how to get rid of that fucking cough. Or if it's just my fucking lungs recovering. <coughs> Oh god, these fuckers. No. Oh. None. Balls. So I'm gonna try and flawless every single boss in this game. Except Picayune. The main issue I've had with flawlessing every single boss in this game would be the demon boss. Who is a pain in the fucking ass, the flawless, because you have to bust her down. <clears throat> Let me out that fucking box. Ow. Okay. Ooh. I'm probably going to get shrapnel shells, as that's at least somewhat useful. Telecom only triggers once per enemy. And even then you actually have to upgrade the fucking thing to get it to trigger more times on more enemies. I have weapon alpha turned to low setting because, you know, <coughs> helps with visibility. I may do some one weapon challenges, but I will have to use a debug menu for that. Because quite frankly there's no way to actually get the core out without a statue of distribution I think. <coughs> Should have left the fucking health ups. <clears throat> the 
Halo does not count as a fucking thing to help you flawless stuff. <coughs> because it's, it still deals one damage to you. So if the flawless text appears, then we'll know that we've flawless this. As in doing the entire boss without getting hit by the boss's attacks. This pattern is incredibly fucking easy to do. There we go. Didn't even have to do her third. Yep, flawless. Very nice. Uh, we'll probably go for Digi Watch, I think. Mm, up here. Yeah, so I've had builds where I could literally just AFK, and this also involved using the Statue of Execution to get rid of certain enemies that shoot bullets at you. <laughs> I think we'll go with Slime Spike. Bit easier. Oh, that's a statue of relief. Whoops. Oh well. It helps. Yeah, parasite. I actually still have to upgrade a few weapons, including the strike cool. Hence why I picked it. But it is somewhat useful for dealing with enemies. Especially in close range. <laughs> Soul Spears sort of shit. I mean, it's useful if you want to do stuff in close range, but at the same time, you know, some enemies you can't really get close range on. Most notably being the demon and the fucking bunny. You might notice that I'm going more towards four single target items. And this is important for busting the demon boss down before she gets to the third phase because there are certain attacks that I can't really dodge. Not without using a black hole. And you only have a limited amount of black holes. <coughs> Shrapnel shells, yeah sure. Extra damage on the enemies at the end of the day. <coughs> Tell a 
Capcom does help with crowd control quite a bit. It's just a little bit frustrating to have to upgrade it to unlock its full potential, I guess. But like, that's the same thing for like all the fucking weapons. I also had missile pack last time, I'm gonna wanna get that. Once you know all the patterns, the Statue of Consequence is just a free upgrade. Because usually you won't be getting hit in the first place. <coughs> I too isn't exactly useful in terms of busting bosses down, but it is useful for status infliction. Not that I'm bothering with status infliction right now. And status infliction is in fact only really useful on the worm boss, which is the next boss on our list to flawless. To mercilessly kill. Electric eel. The electric eel is undeniably fucking useful for stopping enemies in their tracks, and it also causes the worm boss to have a fucking aneurysm. I love bullying the worm boss because he's such a fucking easy boss. Well, most of the time. We could also go for Firelight or Flamethrower, but I don't think that's quite necessary. As fire doesn't really deal a lot of damage. Oh yes, give me that XP. See, he'll just fucking end up stopped. Very temporarily, mind you. But still. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to use a black hole quite a bit. Especially once a demon boss comes around. The biker boss is fairly easy if you just keep moving in one direction. No, suffer. Yeah. Hmm. Might as well pick up the cooldown module. Parasite. Uh, satellite. This. <coughs> Sorry about the eye burner graphics. I do not control the eye burner graphics. I think I want to get missile pack. Do 
it might be possible to do things with only the core. But I don't think there's enough passives for that. Statue of History. What? What is this? Oh, okay. <coughs> oh fuck, I should have blown it up really. Whoops. Guess I'll do that once the next chain grenade comes around. We could also go for Hunter's Bow, but uh, I'm not sure that I should. I mean, don't get me wrong, poison is a really good status effect. Didn't I also have element crystal? Yeah, I think I did. <coughs> so I was thinking about the previous run when I mentioned the element crystal. Mostly because, you know, it upgrades the damage of just about every single fucking element effect and I was thinking that I could do an elemental only run which would be kinda neat <coughs> Angel Wings is kinda garbage for single targets that's where static satellite comes in yeah Shrapnel shells, static satellite. <coughs> oh right, the missile packs. The missile packs are okay for crowd control as well. <coughs> Plasma lamp. Yeah, so that was the thing that was causing the worm boss to have an aneurysm. That and electric eel. <coughs> I need to do a full fucking guide for this game. Including what weapons are sort of garbage. Most, if not all, the weapons are useful in niche situations. <coughs> but like, there are a few that really fucking lag out the game. There's also an upgrade combo that really fucking lags out the game. And uh, there's the element crystal. I think it was specifically crit explosion because it can chain on itself. Which, why the hell would you make it so that it's like that? <coughs> Parasite. I actually find Parasite to be a good weapon. Mostly because it's single target damage, mostly. Even when upgraded. <coughs> that clings to the enemy, like the poison status effect. <coughs> but like, that isn't an issue if you know where to aim. I don't think I've upgraded the yo-yo rack. Whoops. Oh well, I don't think it's exactly important for achievements. There is an achievement for never getting hit by an enemy or a boss. No, here's a biker. This asshole. Yeah, so the biker is a boss that a lot of players will struggle with simply because it's sort of atypical 
Oh, here's the missile pack. Well. <clears throat> and then you basically have to move in one direction. But like, the worm boss also necessitates that you move. Basically, if you just fucking move diagonally, then you'll be perfectly fine. <coughs> uh, let's do scout module. Funnier. <coughs> okay, where do I want to go? Hmm. Probably up here. You know, I kind of wish there was a fucking daily that would basically just give you a random set of weapons and task you with surviving with them. That way it could fucking, you know, lead to unused weapons being more, you know, used. For the record, I'm not exactly used to bullet hell. But the main issue that I have with the demon boss is the patterns being somewhat random. Like with both Picayune and the bunny boss, those patterns are fairly straightforward. I think the bunny boss has about three attacks she does and cycles between them. I'm mostly relying on static satellites to do his fucking job. Angel Wings does half damage, I think, to one target. So it's more useful for crowd control than it is for single target damage, but the single target damage is still a thing. We've gotten to the point where I can just AFK, more or less. Which is funny as fuck. See, I would outright AFK at this point, but you know. I've got to move around to pick up XP. Awful. I'm pretty sure the auto upgrade thing just chooses the one that's on top. The uh, first option. Yeah. Seems that way. If I manage to crash my entire fucking laptop doing this, then, you know, I'm probably going to be fucking a little bit pissed. Wait, did I flawless the fucking biker? I'm not sure, but I guess we'll know once we get to the fucking ending. Sorry about the eye burner graphics. There's no way to turn them off currently, though I'm sure Stepford is working on it in a new update. There was supposed to be a Christmas update, but eh. I don't think it came out in time. This fucking boss is the one that I struggle with. Mostly because of this shit! Fuck! I'm so fucking mad. Please die as soon as possible, so I can suicide and try again. Fuck you, Alexis. Fucking asshole. Fuck you and your fucking bullet patterns. Mm, XP module. Do 
doing some execution of shit now. Fuck you, Alexis. Demon boss. You fucking asshole. You will rue the day that you sent that bullet pattern at me and caused me to lose the perfect fucking run. For getting flawless on all the fucking bosses, including you. You little fucker. Actually, I should just su suicide right now, but you know. Fuck the both of you, assholes. Right, where's the fucking chain grenade? I want to blow this fucking statue up. Because there's no fucking... Ooh, chain grenade. Terrorism! Mmm, yes! Obviously it would probably be funny if the chain grenade was called a pipe bomb. But, uh, you know. Mm, yes! Yes! I can just AFK at this point. <laughs> That's how good this run is. I'm already at level 240. Mm, yes. <coughs> Look at the amount of lag I get from picking up all this fucking EXP! The ungodly noise it causes! You of course don't really hear it because the game sped up. It was even worse with the fucking canisters if I turned on low spec mode. The canisters are actually supposed to prevent lag, but I don't think they do that job properly. Is the issue. Did I blow up the statue? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to eat more fruit nowadays, which is terrible. I learned how to use the oven in the time that I've been gone from making voice videos. <laughs> <coughs> because health and safety necessitated that we move the oven upstairs. Because, like... Huh. Well, this is an interesting dialogue. It's actually kind of funny, some of the dialogue is. Mostly because it's just them riffing on each other, or... Sometimes a bunny will interrupt. I think it's a rare chance to happen to every single fucking... ...transmission. Oh, hi Picayune! Sorry about the immense fucking... ...array of missiles that I'm throwing at you! And the spikes! And like all these fucking other weapons. Don't mind it too much. You'll be dead soon after all. Again. Yeah. So I finally figured out how to fucking do how to survive one of those specific bullet patterns. And it's incredibly easy. Once you get into a weird cross loop thing, you go into the loop. That's how easy it is. And I learned it from a YouTube video. Also, there's two endings to this game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is the bunny boss circle attack. Which, I actually find it kind of sweet that she uses the attacks of her friends, Picky even does. Oh boy, we won't even get to the chorus of Interstellar with how well this run is going. Look at that 
single target damage. Move in one direction for this because it's basically just the biker's regular attack. Ow. A fucking demon attack. Asshole. Sorry, bud. For some abominable reason, you can't actually get the true ending on a loop. So instead, I'm gonna have to get the regular ending. Fuck that demon boss. <laughs> Apparently you can't get the regular ending if you've already done it. Anyways, this is Pick You and Dreams. Play the fucking game for the love of fucking god. Beat all the overdrive levels, there's five of them. Otherwise, I will be in your walls. Feeding the rats and unionising them.